Understanding your finances isn't just about counting pennies. It's about making smarter decisions that can profoundly impact your future. Whether you're looking to save more, invest wisely, or just get out of debt, enhancing your financial knowledge is the key. In today's guide, we'll explore everything from the basics of budgeting and understanding compound interest to more advanced topics like investment strategies and tax optimization. We're here to provide you with actionable steps and insights that can help you navigate the often complex world of finance with greater confidence. So, why is financial IQ important? Simply put, the more you know, the better you can manage unforeseen challenges and capitalize on opportunities. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with essential knowledge and tools to take control of your financial destiny. Let's get started and transform the way you think about money. Section 1. Understanding Basic Financial Concepts To start improving your financial IQ, it's essential to grasp some fundamental concepts that form the backbone of all financial planning and decision-making. Number 1. Budgeting and Expense Tracking The first step towards financial wisdom is learning how to budget. A budget is a plan that helps you track your income versus your expenses, allowing you to manage your money effectively. Start by listing all sources of income and then itemize your monthly expenses. This will help you identify unnecessary expenditures and redirect funds towards savings and investments. Utilizing apps like Mint or Enab, you need a budget, can simplify this process and provide you with real-time insights into your financial habits. Number 2. The Power of Compound Interest Often referred to as the eighth wonder of the world, compound interest is a powerful concept in growing wealth. It refers to earning interest on your interest, in addition to the principal sum. For example, if you invest $1,000 at an interest rate of 10% per year, in the first year, you'll earn $100 in interest. In the second year, you'll earn interest on $1,100, not just the original $1,000. Over decades, this leads to exponential growth of your investments, highlighting why starting early can be hugely beneficial. Understanding these two foundational elements sets the stage for more advanced financial decisions and long-term financial health. Section 2. Enhancing Financial Management Skills Once you've mastered the basics, it's time to refine your financial management skills. Here, we focus on effectively managing debt and understanding the impact of your credit score. Number three, debt management. Managing debt is crucial for financial stability. Start by differentiating between good debt, such as mortgages or student loans, and bad debt, like high interest credit card balances. Prioritize paying off high interest debts first, a strategy known as the avalanche method. Alternatively, the snowball method involves paying off smaller debts first to build momentum. Both strategies are effective, but the key is consistency and avoiding new debt while paying off existing ones. Number 4. Credit Score Insights Your credit score is a numerical representation of your credit worthiness and affects your ability to borrow money or secure housing. It's determined by several factors, including payment history, debt levels, and the age of credit accounts. Improving your credit score starts with paying bills on time, reducing outstanding balances, and avoiding new debt inquiries. Regularly monitoring your credit report for errors is also essential as discrepancies can adversely affect your score. Tools like Credit Karma offer free credit score updates and advice on improving your credit health. By focusing on these aspects of financial management, you not only keep your finances in good health, but also prepare yourself for bigger financial steps in the future, such as investing or purchasing a home. Section 3. Investment Knowledge Boosting your financial IQ also involves understanding investment options to grow your wealth over time. Let's explore three fundamental areas of investing. Number 5. Stock Market Basics Investing in the stock market can be a lucrative way to increase your wealth, but it requires knowledge and patience. Stocks represent shares of ownership in a company. 
When the company performs well, the value of your shares can increase. However, the market is volatile and can fluctuate based on economic indicators, company performance, and global events. Beginners should start by learning the basics of stock types, market trends, and risk assessment. It's often wise to invest through index funds or mutual funds, which offer diversified portfolios managed by professionals, reducing the risk associated with individual stocks. Number six, fundamentals of real estate investing. Real estate investing involves purchasing property to generate rental income or to sell at a profit. It can provide a steady income stream and potential tax advantages. However, it requires significant capital and understanding of the market conditions in your area. Beginners can start with residential properties, as they are easier to understand and manage compared to commercial properties. Consider joining real estate investment groups or trusts to gain exposure without the need to directly manage properties. Number seven, retirement planning. Planning for retirement is a crucial investment strategy that ensures you have enough funds to live comfortably in your later years. Start by understanding the different retirement accounts available, such as 401k, S, IRAs, and Roth IRAs. Each has its own benefits and tax implications. The key to successful retirement planning is to start early, contributing consistently, and taking advantage of compound interest. Also, consider speaking with a financial advisor to tailor your retirement strategy to your specific financial situation and goals. By educating yourself on these investment avenues, you not only enhance your ability to make informed decisions, but also set a foundation for financial security. Remember, the goal of investing is not just to accumulate wealth, but to ensure that your money works for you, creating opportunities for future financial freedom. Section four, advanced financial strategies. It's crucial to incorporate more advanced strategies that can maximize your earnings and protect your assets. This section will delve into tax optimization, insurance, and estate planning, three pillars of sophisticated financial management. Number eight, tax optimization. Understanding how to manage your taxes effectively can lead to significant financial benefits. Tax optimization involves utilizing legal strategies to minimize your tax liabilities, thereby maximizing your income and savings. Start by familiarizing yourself with tax-advantaged accounts such as IRAs, 401k, S and HSAs, health savings accounts, which can reduce your taxable income. Additionally, consider the timing of large financial decisions, such as selling investments or making charitable donations, which can also impact your tax bill. Consulting with a tax advisor can provide personalized strategies, ensuring you make the most of your specific situation. Number nine, understanding insurance. Insurance is a critical tool for managing risk and protecting your wealth. Evaluating your needs for various types of insurance, health, life, auto, and property is essential. The right insurance policies can safeguard against unforeseen financial burdens caused by accidents, illness, or death. It's important to assess the coverage levels, compare provider offers, and understand the terms and conditions of your policies. Overinsuring can be as financially detrimental as underinsuring, so tailored advice from insurance professionals can be invaluable. Number 10, estate planning. Estate planning is not just for the wealthy. It's a fundamental aspect of financial planning that ensures your assets are distributed according to your wishes upon your passing. It involves setting up wills, trusts, and healthcare directives to manage your assets and decisions about your health if you're unable to do so yourself. Estate planning can also help reduce estate taxes and legal complications for your heirs. Start by documenting your assets, defining your beneficiaries, and discussing your plans with an estate planner to implement your decisions effectively. By mastering these advanced financial strategies, you're not just securing your current financial status, but also ensuring long-term protection and growth of your assets. These practices allow you to navigate complex financial landscapes with confidence, ensuring peace of mind for yourself and your loved ones. Section five, 
continuous learning and adaptation. In the ever-evolving world of finance, staying informed and adaptable is key to maintaining and enhancing your financial IQ. Continuous learning and effective networking are essential strategies that ensure you remain ahead of the curve. Number 11, educational resources and lifelong learning. To truly elevate your financial literacy, commit to lifelong learning. This includes regularly updating your knowledge through books, online courses, podcasts, and seminars. Recommended books such as Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham offer foundational insights. Online platforms like Coursera and Khan Academy provide courses on a range of topics from basic economics to advanced investment strategies. Additionally, subscribing to financial news outlets and following market trends will help you stay current with economic conditions and new financial tools and products. Number 12. Networking with Financial Professionals Building relationships with financial experts can provide you with guidance and insider knowledge that is crucial for making informed decisions. Attend industry seminars, join finance-related groups on social media, or participate in community investment clubs to connect with professionals. These networks can also be invaluable when seeking advice on complex financial issues or when you need a mentor to help navigate new financial territories. By actively engaging in continuous learning and networking, you not only keep your financial knowledge fresh, but also develop the adaptability required to successfully manage personal finances in a changing economic landscape. Remember, enhancing your financial literacy is a continuous journey that not only improves your ability to manage money, but also empowers you to make informed, confident financial decisions. Each step you take is a move towards greater financial freedom and stability. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more insightful content. If you have any questions or additional tips, please share them in the comments below. Let's keep learning and growing our financial knowledge together.